was talking about cop cars one day. There's a close-up of one. Right there. Because of the cops, everyone has to get cop phobia and start going the speed limit. I think that ticks the cops off more. They'd rather just go. There we go. I'm now following a cop. Haha, I need one to get the heck out of Dodge. He's like, screw the zippies! Boom! stay behind this car so he has difficulty radaring me if he's got it going. I hope that turned out okay on the video. Sometimes I wish I can actually see the view, the view screen. But hey, I guess while I'm sitting here, uh, today's topic will be why I think every motorcycle should take the Motorcycle Safety Foundation safety course or some type of training rather than being self-taught. Um, yeah, pretty much. Statistically speaking, I don't know the figures off the top of my head, but um, people who just hop on a bike and go without any actual formal training are statistically more apt to be involved in an accident. So there's one reason. Another reason is that with formal training you learn a bunch of skills that are necessary, like counter steering for one, which I just did there. Instead of trying to like lean your bike places, you can actually counter steer and it goes a whole lot faster. Plus things like jumping over wood obstacles, um, 4x4s, railroad tracks, so the railroad tracks are easy. You don't really have to do too much with those. But uh, cornering, swerving, braking, and I mean braking is using your bike's max potential, or the bike that you're on, but you pretty much get the key concepts that you need. for free and that's Pennsylvania you don't have to pay anything Georgia here actually had to pay in-state residents of $250 so prices can vary with where you're at but you can just do like a Google search for MSF or Motorcycle Safety Foundation I think it's MSF hyphen USA dot com or dot org not sure off the top of my head Just something to think about. 
I would also encourage anyone who um, likes forums and a community to come on over to join a bunch of us over at TotalMotorcycle.com That was TotalMotorcycle.com Sign up uh, I go by the same username there as I do on YouTube so feel free to drop me a private message or or what have you and you can introduce yourself in the new biker area but we've got all kinds of people there from people who like to wrench all the time to everyone of course everyone there likes to ride or they're thinking about starting a ride so you got a lot of varied expertise from the absolute beginner all the way up to people who have been riding bikes for 20 30 plus years so it's actually kind of nice if you got any questions uh it's a good place to ask them and i guess while i'm plugging websites i'll go ahead and plug my own my URL is over there on the YouTube capture on the left hand side. You can learn more about me. I have a motorcycle link right off my main page. So you can learn about my history. Don't you do it. And uh, that explains how I got into motorcycles. Um, I was actually started out self-taught but then took the safety course. My train of thought was interrupted. I also addressed the gear I have, why I wear it as well, and just general tips that you can read over and you might end up using them. Come on, we got a green light. I think this gets people who just don't know how to drive. Or the flip. Well, I guess I'll get to show you guys my other motorcycle spot. I have sociology on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I park in a completely different area on campus. There goes another guy on a bike. Stand out in the middle of the road. So it's a wonder some people were actually in college. If you don't have common sense to get the frick off the road, you shouldn't even be in school. Yeah, I said it. Applies to a lot of other people as well. And that's pretty much the end of this video. But this whole spot's for motorcycles.